all sort of wondering what's going to happen. Maybe the museum goers will take the journey and they'll visit all of us and they'll have a musical experience or a thoughtful experience. It will just be a noisy one. MoMA PS1 opening their doors to us is actually affecting the history of women drummers. While we're commenting on the past, I feel like we're making a present and a future tense that's potentially repairing or moving forward what has been lacking. The project is called The Oral History of Female Drummers. And essentially what it's presenting is what I believe to be the history of female drummers, which is non-existent and essentially spoken word. As most people whose histories are untold, they're told through oral historians. So this is my way of showing people what we've dealt with as women drummers and then fill in the blank, anyone who is an underrepresented group of people can put themselves into this picture. six drummers spread throughout the museum. We can't hear each other or see each other. We're just doing our thing. We're playing our drums. And Ashley Say Wet Moyer flew in from Albuquerque, New Mexico. She's a world-renowned beatboxer. She'll be going between each drummer and having a conversation with us through beatboxing. When she arrives at the drummer, she'll talk, they'll talk, they'll talk together, and then she'll move on to the next drummer and ideally translate something she spoke previously with the next drummer. So at the end of the piece, she'll have spoken to all of us, and that'll be our history. The drummers performing today are myself, Mindy Abovitz, Kristen Muller, who's in the lobby, so she's sort of opening the piece, Kieran Gandhi, who's in LA and is here for the day, which is incredible, Chloe Savidra is a local NYC drummer. She's in Chaos, Chaos, and Smooth. She's been playing since I think she was five. Kate Ryan in the boiler room. She's another Brooklyn drummer. Sean Desiree, and we have Linnea Lamont on Drum Machine, and Ashley Say Wet Moyer is our beatboxer. Part of what's so exciting about this event is that typically this space is reserved for a thoughtful, quiet, mellow, contemplative time for the museum goer. And I think what excited myself and Scooter, who helped make this possible, and everyone else who helped make this possible, was that we don't belong here. Drummers don't really belong anywhere. We definitely don't belong here. No, I didn't think it was a crazy idea at all. It's definitely something that would be fantastic. I mean, this is the kind of thing that they encourage here. The whole building is activated, so to speak, alive. Why I do think we belong here is because it's the hippest, most energetic museum in New York, and they open the doors to music regularly. They have events that feature the best DJs and bands from New York and around the world. They were and continue to be concerned with the drumming the loudest. If you don't want to experience noise, you can't avoid us. Plus, we're not playing anything musical necessarily. We're just playing drums for now. word of mouth. She's acting as how I believe our history is told, or has been told, um, which is just, have you heard this drummer? She's amazing. There is a woman drummer out there. Really? I never, who is she? What's her name? I felt like this was really a window into a private life, because kit drummers aren't often playing by themselves, except for when they're alone. I feel like it gave it this air of a secret underground, like this public performance of a private act, and then turning that into a conversation with Ashley. I'm really glad that I got to do that. Mm -hmm. 
cool to hear Ashley um, beatbox because I, I actually never heard a girl beatboxer before and it was totally different sounding than guy beatboxers. There was, um, she was doing like these girl like feminine tones that were coming out and with guys usually just like so bassy and stuff. So with her it was it was more she was even going like She's doing these sounds that are like a, she's doing a definite like crack of a snare hit. And then she's doing her kick on her knees. She's doing a kick pattern. And and you just count the time. You find out where she is. It's that same conversation before. This is what we agreed to. We're gonna to agree to this count, this feel. And, and I'm gonna say some things on top of what you're saying, or I'm gonna say some things that integrate with what you're saying. Part two of this performance is what I believe Tom Tom is, which is an oversaturation of women drummers. What I've done with the magazine through social media, through web, and through print is hype us to an extreme to make up for lost time, to make up for not being recorded in history. You see all these different women coming together bringing their emotions, their spirit, their background, their ancestry, their history to a very specific instrument. It becomes a movement. If Mindy throws more of these like museum events, I'd totally be down to do them because it's, it's so cool. I, I really like the, the new atmosphere that it would be bringing to museums. I would do it again. Yeah, I think I will do things like this again. It expanded me in, in, in a way that um, I don't know, I'm grateful for it. I think it. I think it would be nice to have it happen again. And it would be great to be a part of it. Yeah, I enjoy just hanging out with all the drummers here. You know, it's not too many events where you get to hang out with a bunch of female drummers and a beatboxer. Yeah, it's awesome energy. Tom Tom brings awesome energy. I think it was like how museums should be. And just doing something that was challenging and that I get to call myself a drummer and play drums. Performing at PS1 MoMA is a big deal. Being held up and recognized by a magazine like TomTom Tom is a big deal. And so all of those things I wanted to give my utmost respect. My mindset had to be right in order to make sure physically I could not just beatbox for an hour, but be really spiritually open and energetically uh, available to connect with these women and make sure that we're forming something uh, here in this museum today that was gonna resonate with people. Thank you, Tom Tom, and I hope to get together with you guys again soon and do something like this tenfold. We very may well not be invited back. I'm assuming we won't be invited back.